Evening all. It's the 20th anniversary retro of the Omnizone. This is the first retro they did. Uh, beginning of 2010. Uh, great materials uh, for a shoe from uh, 2010. So as I've mentioned before, uh, a lot of quality started going downhill after uh, around 2008, 2009. But uh, these are top quality, uh, better materials than the uh, 2004 retros. Great leather, nice fit cut. Nice stitching. Great stitching. Great pump mechanism as well. Brilliant pump mechanism. You can really feel it. Really feel it. Does make all the difference having a, a good pump mechanism and a good air, air bag, air bladder. Reebok, take note if you're watching. Stupendously good. Beautiful coloured lining. The comfort is amazing. One of the most comfortable uh, pumps I own for sure, without a doubt. Well out of any sneaker. Nice padding. Stunning shoe. Let's say it is an original colorway, although uh, the original uh, this round the collar, this was purple. There was loads of nice colourways back then and the colours was really vibrant on them. Uh, I think this may be one of, uh, of the original colourways was released, that was it. I don't know why they didn't bother. But they got this now, the actual colour of the, uh, of the pump basketball is... Uh, about as close as you're gonna get. I was disappointed with the new Omnizone twos. Uh, the colour of the basketball and the uh, the pump, the stitch around the side, the colour of it. It was uh, way off the original. But these are good. Nice big tongue. I'll probably do a comparison at uh, all the Reeboks in, in height. These are probably the same height as they were originally. So the new Omnizone twos, oh, they're not as not as uh, big as they should be. They should be the height of this really. Should be a good inch taller than the uh, than the Omni Light. But yeah, that'll do you now. Just a quick look for you. Thanks for watching.